In Micah 5, 2, we have an amazing prophecy of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. It says, Micah 5, 2, but you, Bethlehem, O Ephrathah, though you be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall he come forth unto me. That is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth has been from old, from everlasting amazing. Here we talk about the Messiah that would be born in Bethlehem through the prophet Micah some 400 years before Jesus Christ was born. Born in Bethlehem, which Bethlehem means the house of bread. And of course we know John 6 35 tells us that Jesus indeed is the bread of life. Ephtaphrata Biblical reference, former name Bethlehem, which means fruitful. And indeed, fruit would come from Israel, from Bethlehem, the fruit of Jesus Christ, who is our salvation. His very name, Yah Yeshua, in the Old Testament, means God is salvation. A wonderful promise for us and for Israel. Though you be little among the thousands of Judah, and of course, Bethlehem was little, yet out of you, God would bring forth this ruler, and he shall come forth unto me, God himself, bringing him out, God the Father, bringing him forth through the virgin, being born of the Holy Spirit, Amazing. The triunity right there, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that he's going to be the ruler in Israel in accordance with the promise to Israel and David, looking forward for that fulfillment. When? In the millennial kingdom, which is yet future for us, not too far in the future. You know, again, the rapture of the church could happen at any time, seven-year tribulation, the second coming of Jesus bringing in that millennial thousand-year reign of Christ while well, Satan's bound for a thousand years, literally. That's coming soon to a theater near you. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 11 reads, The Lord declares unto you that the Lord himself will establish a house for you, David. When you are when your days are over and your rest of the ancestors, I will raise up offspring to succeed you, your own flesh and blood, and I will establish his kingdom. Notice that his kingdom, he is the one who will build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. <laughs> there it is. Isaiah even mentions it of the increase of the government and peace. There shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. God himself will perform this. Amazing. And notice the last phrase there in Micah 5, 2, whose goings forth have been from old, from everlasting. That's, that's, that's so amazing because that tells us that Jesus Christ is God incarnate. He literally is without beginning nor ending. Colossians 1, 16 and 17, John 1, 1 through 3, he, he was before all things and by him was all things created. That's who God sent. We see that fulfillment in the Gospels. And of course, the promise of the coming kingdom, the millennial kingdom. We know Jesus Christ, God the Father and the Holy Spirit rules presently and have always ruled. But on this earth, in a literal sense, in a literal way, they, Jesus Christ will rule on the throne of David in Jerusalem. And we that believe on him, we that belong to him, born again of the Holy Spirit, we will rule with him for a thousand years. Church has got to be raptured, certainly. Then after that, that seven-year tribulation, of course, to wake up Israel. But then he comes himself with ten thousands of his saints to stand upon the Mount of Olives. To, it'll split, and then he will rule and reign after he throws Satan into that bottomless pit for a thousand years. So exciting. Cannot wait.
Give all glory and honor to Jesus Christ. I hope you know him today. It's so important that you have a, a personal relationship with him, that you believe on him, that you have received him as your Lord and Savior and as your forgiveness for sins because he's the only way to heaven. Nobody can be good enough. It's he that lived the life that we could not live and he died in our place for our sins. Receive him today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. Repent, turn from your way and turn unto him. I pray this in Jesus' name. God bless you.